And hey guys, what's up? I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to the channel where we talk about anything related to comic books. I am sorry you're all just as excited as I am for the upcoming Deadpool and Wolverine movie, mostly for the return of Hugh Jackman and the inevitable fight between the two characters which will absolutely be really cool to see. But what happened during Deadpool and Wolverine's first encounter in the comics? Well, stick around to find out. Let's fucking go. Deadpool and Wolverine never really got along so well, so I guess it's a no-brainer that the first time they met, they started kicking each other's butts. In the now classic Wolverine number 88, in 1994 by Larry Hama, Adam Hubert and Fabio Laguna. You see, Deadpool used to be sort of an actual bad guy, and not that much of an anti-hero during his early days, and did some pretty nasty stuff, like for example, attempting to kill a guy for dating his ex-girlfriend, the guy being Garrison Kane and the girl being being Vanessa Carlyle, both superpowered individuals. Deadpool first tried to find Kane in his apartment, but instead of him, he found good old Wolverine. But the thing is that after having his adamantium skeleton ripped off by Magneto, Wolverine wasn't as strong as always, so it wasn't that hard for Wade to beat the crap out of him and go after the people that actually interested him. But just when he was ready to kill them both, Wolverine fully healed and saved the couple. Now it was 3 against 1, and seeing those odds, Deadpool decided to just throw them a grenade and leave instead of fighting. Surprisingly, their first wasn't even their most intense or entertaining fight. That probably occurred later when Deadpool was hired to kill Wolverine in Wolverine Origins number 21 by Daniel Way and Steve Dillon. So if he fought against him for free, imagine what lengths he go to to get paid. But this happens to be a pretty important story, so I don't want to spoil anything, but I'll just let you know this, he set up explosives inside a freaking duck. Before Wolverine 88, we also got a Toys R Us limited edition X-Men comic in 1993, that is not actually canon, but it's worth mentioning because it's the first time they actually appeared in a panel together, even though they didn't even look at each other. Another comic worth mentioning is Deadpool Kills the Marvel Universe by Cullen Bunn and Dalibor Talajic, a story set in an alternate universe in which Deadpool does exactly what the title suggests, and even manages to kill Wolverine using a carbonadium blade that is the only thing that Wolverine can't heal from. So I guess this answers the question of who would win in a fight to the death between these two. It's an alternate reality story though, so I don't know if it could apply to the main continuity. Since they had such a bumpy first encounter, you might be wondering what's their relationship nowadays. Well, Wolverine did free Deadpool from a Weapon X facility once, and Deadpool stopped being such a huge jackass. So after a few team-ups fighting werewolves and all this stuff, these two actually became the ultimate beer-drinking besties. Well, okay, maybe not besties, but at least they don't try to murder each other as often now. Yet they always manage to piece each other off, even when they're fighting side by side, but I'd say that it's in a more friendly than hateful way. So loving frenemies would be the best way to describe this, and this is the dynamic we'll probably see in the movie. Well guys, this was today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, don't forget to subscribe, click the like button, and allow all notifications. And as always, I wanna hear your thoughts in the comments. What did you make of the Deadpool and Wolverine trailer, and how excited are you? Well, that's all for now, Bob. I'm gonna get some chimichangas now. So, adios, muchacho.